All right, fun spectate game. Let's get right back to it. Let's see if any of our other friends, because we'll, we'll do, some, we'll make it a friend night. Ooh, Zagat. Zagat's really good. I've not played with Zagat in a while. Let's see how they're doing with Felix. All right, so we got on top team, we got Hoopa, Zacian, Mamoswine, Talonflame, Dragapult. Very interesting mix. Then bottom, we have another Dragapult, another Mamoswine, Urshifu, Absol, and Cramorant. Interesting mix. Not a lot of the comps I see together. Mamoswine, not in a good spot right now. Not a really good defender, unfortunately. But it is a yellow ribbon Mamoswines. So they're sticking with their boy. Hoopa, really good spot right now. Zacian in the middle. Dragapult, I think, is heavily slept on. Town Flame, don't have much of an opinion on them. So let's see where we go. We got Zacian Hoopa bottom. Then we got Dragapult Mamoswine top. And then we got the Talon Flame in the middle. That 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 does not bode well, guys. Um, so let, let me tell you guys how to do jungle. We, we, we'll make this an educational watch. So when you go to jungle, you skip these. You go straight for these. Reason being, you kill these, they're down. You now have the buffs. You kill these two in the back. You now go here, do your gank. You come back, boom, they're up. You take both of them out, birds in the middle. Done. Easiest jungle routine in the game. All right, so let's check out what's going on. Cramrat, really good early game, by the way. Has a lot of CC, a lot of damage output. Cramrat, one of the more threatening Pokemon. Urshifu, honestly, I think they have one of the weaker uh, early game. They they don't come on until they're actually Urshifu and not the little, little teddy boy. All right, looks like... Looks like the Absol is ready to get the gank going. And they're jumping in, taking out the Talonflame. Zagat coming in with the Zacian. Unfortunately, won't be able to do much. They're going to wait for birds. Zacian does not have the energy, unfortunately, to charge their passive. They have to have 10 Aos energy. One of the biggest weaknesses with Zacian. If you can't get farm to charge your Aos energy, you're just going to be dead in the lane. All right, Talonflame coming back. Unfortunately, Talonflame needs to be getting their ass back up here in the jungle. <laughs> What, what what you doing, buddy? What you doing? What, what's going on here? Did they really want that 7 out? Sorry, we're just going to watch the Talon Flame. This is going to be a game of watching a player and seeing how that... We're going to be in the mind of a Talon Flame player this game. At this point, Zacian or the Dragapult needs to be like, we're jungle now. We are the jungle. Zacian going up a little bit too early, but gets the gank on the Absol. They were set up, they knew where they were waiting, and they had the AO Synergy charge. They got the kill instantly. Good for them. Then they get all the birds uncontested. Good job, Zacian. Good job, Mammoth Swan, for going down there, backing up their bait. Again, like I said, the Zacian now sees what's happening. They're like, I need to get my jungle. I know Zagat. We've played before. They're a very good player. Now we got Dragapult on the defense along with the Mamoswine, just chilling. Mamoswine getting a little bit too greedy. Grab the ice. Dragapult going in with the basics. Dragadance getting around, getting the auto-targeting. Oh, aim. Good kill. Mamoswine pulling the other one out of base. Dragadance again. Dragadance now resets. Dragadance once more. Taking out the Absol. Amazing combo from the Mamoswine. Holy cow. That was amazing gameplay, everybody. Now, Cramer come in, try to fend Mamoswine with a grab again, but they honestly need to get out of there. Urshifu is now evolved. Are they going one? They are now a one punch Urshifu. Now, let's check out what's going bottom. Talonflame getting killed again. What a surprise. Not really. Zacian, unfortunately. Ooh, getting in their, their, their hit on the Mamoswine, at least with the charged swords. Now, they're going to go in, try to catch this Absol out. Unfortunately, it might not be too much. Or it is. It's enough to get them out. Dragapult not doing much this game. Are the Mamo. Uh. Sorry, sorry, uh, the, uh, Robbie from one of our previous games we spectated just said GG back, and I was like, nah, bro, I'm spectating. <laughs> Alright, we got Fats going on in the middle, Talonflame trying to go and get the, f they must be stacking, because they're really doing their best. Eject out, hmm. Urshifu's coming down, they're getting that one punch ready. Zacian doing the smart thing, taking the objective while everybody was fighting here. Dragapult, not nine yet. Unfortunately, Dragapult's w biggest weakness when it's still a Dreepy. Um, when it's not a Dragapult yet, it has a little bit weaker of a basic firing and not having your ult um, secure and just burst you can constantly do with it really hinders you as a Dragapult player until you're 9. You're definitely more late game comp. Unfortunately, Urshifu not able to do much with the one punch versus a Zacian because you got to get close to the Zacian to one punch and they're just going to charge Aeos towards you like this. Bam, done, dead. Now we're going to check out what's happening up top. Looks like they fought for the Regilecki. Regilecki is just going to go in. No kissing there. Talonflame with the whiff. Cramorant just like, all right, buddy. 
Cramorant's just going to get away now, then get killed. Cramorant can't do much, unfortunately, when they're all on cooldowns. Absol going to go in. Absol just going to get farm. Talonflame hanging out. Talonflame whiffing. Now we go down here. Hoopa unbound. Going in hard. Hitting with everything. Mamoswan trying to get the Ascensation coming in as well. Everybody taking the Hoopa portal. Going in. Taking out the Mamoswan. Dragapults now. They're on the defense with the basics. Going in for the Dragon Dance. A little bit ballsy, I would say, unless they had full heal up. You never want a Dragon Dance on a Zation. You just get caught out and like auto killed with their swords. Now let's check out what's going on in the hop there. Still fighting. Not a lot of team fighting going on, like big like teams together. Ooh, the Mamoswan really needs to find a way to get to nine at this point. They are really leveled behind. Ooh, purple taking a few hits there. It's like top lane is now trying to get all the farm for purple, which is good for them. Orange is pushing it in there. Orange with a decent little 12 score there. They're still fighting over that bottom go. Ooh, Urshifu hit. Zacian, ooh, Zacian taken down with the memo. Again, the Mamoswan is still an 8. I'm feeling bad for Purple's team right now. You get a Mamoswan that needs to get some farm. They're refusing to get farm right now. Watch this. Instead of going, getting this, getting this, getting this, anything to help them to get to 9, they're just running back in and die. This might get them. Nope, because they didn't get the kill. Dragapult getting the farm. Looks like this Dragapult starting on this by themselves. Not a good move. They don't. The enemy team is right here. They're keeping an eye out. They're just playing it slow right now. Want to see what's going to happen. Dragapult pulled out to the left. Hoopa unbound going in. Big burst all around. Big hit. CC from the punches. CC Mamoswan. Now that they're evolved. Going in. Full pulling back. Get this Regilecki down before the enemy team can get back in. Meanwhile, up top, Zacian and the Cram are going back and forth. Zacian having to run back from the Cram. Hoping to reset some cooldowns. Won't be enough, though. Oh, Zacian with a burst. Unfortunately, killed. Regilecki will reset, though. Cram is going to have to pull back. Meanwhile, it looks like they weren't. They were able to secure the Reggie down here, but were not able to get the goal. They may have also just left it there. I don't think so. But with it being 15, getting a big overscore of 40 would be nice. Now, it looks like the rest of the team is going to be rotating where the Zacian was. Trying to get all the farm, but Zacian deciding not. Zacian's going to go for jungle. Smart play. You don't want to leave your farm up for too long. If you're just fighting back and forth, you're just going to get nowhere in the game. But if you let them have objectives and you still get your farm, you won't fall behind in level. That's the thing a lot of people don't understand about Pokemon Unite. As you know, you can contest objectives, but sometimes it's not worth getting the objectives if, if it means giving up your farm. Uh, don't like the Dragapult positioning here. They're a little bit too in far by themselves. Zacian, hopefully, will charging up for their ability to get the swords hit. Ooh, good. Unfortunately, wasn't enough there to kill out the Dragapult and get rid of the Regilecki. So they were able to defend very well. And then it looks like they're going to get a big 50 score on top. Mamoswan going for the defense. Good job, everybody. Good overscore. Townflame on the defense. Taking out the Absol, but no Absol. Pull back. Oh, double kill. Anyway, Hoopa with a secure. Hoopa going in again for that 40, like I said earlier. This is going to give them uh, 25 overscore here, I believe. Zacian getting the farm while they can, and then probably going to pick off the rest. Nope, they're going to pull back, fight on base, defend as they can. Dragapult, Urshifu just kind of play footsie up here. Cramorant getting farm over here. We're going to watch We're going to watch what the Talonflame is doing again. We're going, we're going to check them out. We're going to see what they're doing. We're going to see how they're vibing. They're, they're not vibing. All right, Mamoswine ulted. Which Mamoswine was it, though, at the two-minute mark? Uh, it was, well, both don't have their ult. We'll see who gets theirs back first. Ooh, Urshifu punching, punching. Everybody's ignoring Hoopa unbound on the Rayquaza. Rayquaza killing the Zacian. Oh, no, not like this. Zagat going down. TDV Cloud. Ooh, getting taken down as well. Ooh, hate to see it. Talonflame chasing the Absol. That's just going to leave Team Rocket along with the other team here in Orange side just taking the Rayquaza. Ooh, Talonflame got to get that score, guys. Oh, look at this. He's back cap. He's going to get that 24 in. That's going to get them to win 100%. Watch it. Doesn't matter about this 100 here. Doesn't matter about this 100. Or it ain't gonna even matter with this hundred. It's all about that twenty-four that talents again. Watch this. Watch this little back cap and some bitch. Look at him go. Comment, yeah, yeah. So on my YouTube now, I'm just doing commenting games. So I wanted to do it on stream to have fun. The left side team has a huge lead. By the way, this game is glitched in spectate mode. So when it says left side, it means right side. 
uh, you'll see after this game, I'll show you. So right now, purple's losing and orange is winning. I have to point out, like, at every game. It, it, it's the funniest thing to me. Because I was so confused the first time it happened. Purple's trying to fight back, guys. They're they're pushing. They're not giving up. Zacian trying to get those hits in. Unfortunately, Zacian without AO synergy just cannot keep up. Getting popped off again. Mm. Hoopa unbound once more trying to get those picks in. Unfortunately, it might not be enough. They did get another kill with the Dragapult. Then another kill with the Absol. Hoopa just going off. Dragapult going in with those autos. Unfortunately, Arshafu got in with the stun and the big hit. We got Talonflame getting those back caps. You know that Talonflame put in the work? <laughs> not really, God. Don't be like this Talonflame, guys. All right, let's see the results. I'm sure it's going to be a nail biter with that talent flame getting out those back caps. Hey, hope you liked the gameplay and the commentary. What am I saying? Of course you did. So please go down, comment below what you liked about it, what you want to see in the future, or, you know, even some critique on what I can do to improve uh, these video segments. Again, hope you all enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Who knows, maybe you'll be in the next video.